Thank you for tuning in to Embrace the New. This is part two of Who Am I? So the question is for part two, why did I get sister locks? This is actually a long story, by the way, but um, just to condense it, I, for many years, I struggled with my hair. When I was in high school, I had problems with growing my hair. I actually had a relaxer in my head. So uh, my hair would get about this length, um, about to my neck, maybe about here, and it would not grow beyond that length. Um, now, take into consideration, now I just said my hair is about this length when it was permed, but that was with my hair being straight. My locks are natural, so if I were to pull on them, they're actually much longer than what it looks like. But um, my hair was about, you know, it would get about here and it would get shorter, it would grow and it would stay about that length for years and years and then it'll get shorter without even cutting it. And um, I really struggled with my hair. Then um, when I got to college, I decided to cut all the relaxer off and just go natural. So of course I had the uh, teeny weeny afro, TWA, and um, it was very short and I wanted to start my journey um, of being natural. So I really enjoyed my natural hair until I started to notice that I was dealing with issues of thickness, my hair didn't seem as full as I wanted it to be. It seemed like it was kind of see-through. I didn't, I cared so much about my hair. I would, you know, detangle it, moisturize it, do all kinds of things. And it seemed that the more I did, the more it didn't help. Um, my hair would grow. It would get to a certain length and then, you know, it looked like my hair was thinning out. So I would cut it again and then it'll grow, but it wasn't thick enough. So I was tired of dealing with that. So as I did more research on my hair, I discovered, and I discovered earlier on, that I had 4C natural hair. That is the tightest curl, the most, um, yeah, it's just the tightest curl, curl in the spectrum of natural hair. And tight curl um, really hides length because the curls are so tight you can't fully see the length of the hair when you're wearing it natural. So not only was my hair 4C in texture, I had fine 4C hair. And I thought that I had low density hair, which is when it comes to thickness and everything, but really it wasn't that my density was low per se, but it was that my actual strands were very fine, very thin in and of themselves. So I had very fine 4C natural hair. Now, I promise you, I feel personally, that was very tough for me to handle and to deal with um, because I wanted long and full hair. I don't want long hair that's not full. Um, I'd rather have fullness than length. I began to pray about it and to see what should I do next? What would be best for my hair? My sister-in-law and my cousin-in-law, they had locks. Now, I never, I paid attention to their locks, but I didn't, I wasn't really interested in locking my hair per se. But after I started to pray about what to do next, I really didn't know what to do. So I was just like, I don't know what to do with my hair. Please just show me what to do. And out of nowhere, I started being highly interested in locks. Um, Every time I saw someone with locks, I'm like, man, that looks really nice, you know? And, um, and then I started to get highly interested in tiny locks, in, in, in micro locks and sister locks. So I started turning to videos of people um, who had sister locks. Les Journey was one of the main people I watched, which encouraged me to get sister locks because um, we seem to have similar um, hair textures. But, um, I started to get so interested and to the point where I made a huge board on Pinterest of sister locks and I just felt so convinced that that's what I wanted to do. The summer of 2017, I decided that I was going to get sister locks, but it took me about, you know, a couple months before I actually got the installation done. So I, my installation was completed on October 1st and the rest is history. 
Now, if you're interested in seeing how far my hair has come with my sister locks, I would encourage you to look at my previous video um, that I posted a couple weeks ago um, concerning my sister lock hair journey. And so it's been great. Make sure that you tune in to the next part of this series, part three, which will be about my personality and the different things that make me specifically who I am. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and embrace the new.